Welcome to the Bushy Black Brother Network. Good afternoon and welcome to Urban Wine Life. I'm Michael, your Bushy Black Brother. And since it's Friday, it's our wine review time. And if you notice what I got sitting here, I got the Vinium Africa series. And if you remember, I got these from the Wine Insiders. You see these couple of wines. Um, I got a couple more that I haven't touched on, but previously it was the Reserve Syrah. And today I have the Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot mix. So the Bordeaux type of mixture uh, that most people understand when you get that kind of cab Merlot mix that France has in Bordeaux. But this is the Stellenbosch, you know, the Stellenbosch region that we said from the last time from the Vinium um, Reserve Syrah. But I wanted to have something a little, little different because I wanted something a little beefier, something that had uh, a little more oakier, a little more smoky taste, so, and dark fruits. So I decided, hey, let's try uh, this Cabernet Merlot mix because I really like the Bordeaux. They're really expensive when you get a good one. Um, but I wanted to see what this South African uh, winery does with this mixture. Uh, so I went and got it in here. So, you know, I'm not going to go through all the historic things that I did with the, the previous um, Syrah. So let's just jump right into this Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot mix. So let's get a whiff of that. Um, so I, I ran through it because um, we had like a, a, I believe it was a beef casserole. So I really wanted to get some of that. So I wanted this uh, actual uh, cabinet mixture for that. So let's get a whiff now. So yeah, very, very smoky. Got this hmm, almost dirty, you know, like the dirt. Uh, it's kind of have that kind of flavor to it or, or aroma to it, but real kind of smoky, dark. Um, I don't know, just a, it's like a, you know, like really deep spices um, because it's, it's kind of, you can smell it up into your nose and I'm trying to get a, a distinction on that other than the smoky dry wood taste. So it's like really dry wood, almost like burnt wood. Yeah, with with not really a lot of fruit in this. So this is, you don't, you don't, you don't smell the dark fruits jumping out like uh, most of them do. So, uh, really kind of different. So let's get a taste. Let's jump into how it tastes. So, I'm gonna tell you, I liked it. I really liked it from before when I was eating it with the meal. Um, it's, it's heavy on the tannins now because I let it sit. I didn't let it sit the last time. Um, you can see it fill in your tongue. Um, so the tannins is really good. You got that heat, that real peppery taste. Um, you, that's coming out uh, a little on the back side. So this is, and it's lingering too. So it's not dry. So it's hot. You, you, you feel that heat in the back end. And, and, and it's really, you, it's kind of like that smoky taste. And I kind of said it on my previous one because I used to smoke a pipe. And you get that, that that smoke that sits in your in your mouth, but it has a almost flavor with the smoke in your mouth, and and that's what I'm getting with the tannins with this. So it's a really really good mixture of all of that, but that peppery, it's coming out. So this is what I'm going to tell that's lacking. There's no real distinction of fruit in this. If you're going to say anything, you're going to get like a really dark dark berry not even a blueberry or or, or um, i'm just trying to find the right berry but it's really has no fruit distinction to it so what you're getting is some heavy tannins some smoky oaky uh taste with all of that and, and, and it's not really jumping out with a distinctive cherry or or, or berry taste but it's okay because what I wanted was a really heavy, uh, oaky, 
smoky type wine that I can sit with the heavy beef uh, casserole that we had. So it really went well. This would have went well with like a smoked beef or something off the grill that had that, that grill fiery taste, really woodsy. This would have went really well with that and it would have complemented well. So what you would have got was more of the, the meat tasting than anything, but you get another taste. So, yeah, so really light. If you, like I said, there's a berry taste to it, but really nothing that really gets you to kind of say, yo, that's what it is. Um, but if you really want something at a price point of, it fluctuates from $13.99 to about $16. Again, I got it as a package. So I got mine for like $7.99, $8.99. I'm not sure which one it was. I brought a couple of different ones so I was able to get it at a decent price but they they're listing it as like a $13.99 to $16.99 me I think your best bet is to get it on the low side um, I think $13.99 you can probably live with but anything lower than that you could say well worth the price so to me this was well worth the price if I was paying $16 I would have said nope needed a little more flavor with this and in this case, I didn't get the flavor that I really wanted. But this is the Vinium Africa Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot from South Africa um, from the Stellenbosch Winery. And I think I got one more, um, I think it's a Chenin Blanc or one other one from the Vinium actual vineyard. So I'll let you know, I may line it up right behind this in, a, in another week, but right now that's all we got. So thank you very much. Uh, watch us on YouTube, on the Bougie Black Brother Network, on the Urban Wine Life, and go to bougieblackbrother.com or urbanwinelife.com so you can see all of them from there. And then you can get them on all the podcasts. So you're looking on Spotify. Hey, I'm still on there. I got the podcast rolling. So if you if you listening to podcasts, hey, look, I'm on all the podcast downloads, especially iTunes. So leave your comments and let me know what you like. Um, and we'll probably get into something different next week. But for now, thank you for stopping by. And we'll see you next time on Urban Wine Life. <laughs>